They say, if you hear the sound of sirens in the forest, run. Christ, and it will come, the gigantic creature with sirens for a head hang? No! You'll never come back. <laughs> oh, come on! Right, aren't you scared? Sorry, Sammy, but I think the Siren Head is not so scary. Actually, he's kind of cute. Cute? Rod, you should see him. He's tower tall, with long arms and legs. Where are your manners? And two sirens on his head! I've already heard it. Maybe you can draw it and then I'll get horrified? No, the drawing won't do. I have a better idea. Let's go! Hi, guys! Today, Sam and I are going to make a siren head figure with a 3D pen! <laughs> hmm, I don't get it, Sam. You said the drawing is not enough in this case. Why did you bring this? It's a stencil, Roger. Isn't that obvious? We need to make sure everything's perfect. So, there you go. You just need to outline every body part carefully. Very wise. This drawing looks very cool, Sam. It will serve as the reference. But luckily, I have a really good memory, so we won't need it. Oh, I'm not too sure about that. I'd better save it just in case. Okay. <laughs> I think it's time to start. Hmm? Is this broken or something? It won't work without plastic, Roger. <laughs> You're so lucky to have me. How come I didn't notice that, Sammy? <laughs> Okay, you are officially the boss today. And let's go! First, we need to make the stand. Guys, be very careful of working with a 3D pen. Its tip is very hot. The main thing here is to have a steady hand. Almost there. Yay! All done! Our stand is ready. It's time to make the body. We'll start with the legs. I hope you're not gonna leave it like that. Sorry, brain head is not a flat thing, you know. Look at him, what a smarty pants. I know that, buddy. Let's follow the smartest slime's advice and add some volume to the chest. Like this. Don't make it too high. I think that's enough. Now we'll get to the pelvis. Siren head is far too skinny, but it doesn't mean we can leave it like this. That's right. Add more volume, Roger. Yes, Mr. Boss. Sam is very serious today. Maybe that's because he's scared. <laughs> Actually, I hope I get at least a little scared too when we finish this craft. Otherwise, it would be quite disappointing since that's how Sam's idea is supposed to work. We're almost done here. Hook. Here's the last one. Ready. Okay, let's use a soldering iron to flatten down all the bumps. We shouldn't forget about the back. If you want to show him to your friends, you should make it cool from all sides. Be very careful with the soldering iron. It's very easy to burn your fingers. Yes, guys. You'd better ask an adult to help. There we go.
We'll come back to you later. Oh, I tried to scare yet. Not at all. Tell me your secret. Why are you not afraid of Siren Head when everybody else is? There's no secret, Sammy. I just know that he's not real. Let me tell you everything I know about him while working. This character was created by Trevor Henderson, a Canadian horror artist in 2018. He works in the special genre that is called unnerving images. The technique is, you get a blurred picture and draw a creepy figure on it. Then you apply some filters and grain and voila! Wow, just look at this! Looking good, huh? Raj, I was just thinking, why did you make the legs now? He already has them! It's just the base. Huh, I see. Check out this almost big guy. Why almost? He still needs some muscles. And here they are. How can you concentrate on the craft and not on how creepy he is? You're literally digging through his belly. <laughs> Sammy, I just don't sweat easily. Now we can get to his long arms. That's cool, Raj. Pay attention to the details, guys. Because according to my sketch, his fingers are quite thin. Sam, I already told you that I don't need the sketch. <gasps> don't need the sketch, huh? You'll regret your word. Just wait. Did you know that Siren Head is not the only creation of its author, Trevor? Yep, I just checked. He also created Cartoon Cat and Long Horse. Yes, all three have exaggeratedly long body parts, which looks very disturbing. But Siren Head is the most famous among them. His fingers look really creepy. Well, let's put the arms in place. For this, we'll use more plastic, like this. Guys, I think it came out awesome. Do you agree? Then give us a thumbs up. So, Mr. Slime Boss, how do you like it? He looks good, but uh, I think something's missing. I'll be right back. I wonder, what's on Sam's mind? Here it is. It's not a real monster without a victim, right? <laughs> I hope now you're scared. Wow, Sam. I'm really impressed, but not scared. <laughs> Guys, check out how Siren Head bent his hand. He's looking forward to the dinner. We'll heat the fingers a little bit. Guys, be very careful. The lighter is not a toy. When it's warm and soft, it's time to shape a firm grip. Ugh, now he's kind of scary. Sam, have a look. Oh, he, he's really scary. Oh. Guys, we're getting to the most interesting and scariest part of our craft. What's that, Roger? The sirens! <laughs> for this, we need to make a paper funnel and use it as a stencil for our sirens. I think that will do. You know what's next? The soldering iron. Just be careful. Well, how's everything going here? Oh, our big boss decided to grab a bite. When I'm scared, I just need chocolate. I want some chocolate too, oh, Sam. Get off! First, you need to get the job done. Sometimes people just don't understand how hard it is to be the leader. Guys, here's our siren. We're going to build a creepy little mouth here. For this, we'll change plastic. This time we'll use red and white colors. Wow, 
Well, great job, Roger, but don't forget about that tongue. I can't forget about that detail. There, and I already polished it too. Holy cannoli, that's creepy. The last but not least, a metallic pole that holds the sirens. Oh, I can see you're almost done. Yes, I can't wait to see the result. If you're here, want to see a trick? So cool! Wow! Let's attach these to the body. Here you go, Roger! Thanks! Oh, I see you're not scared already. I'm glad about that. <laughs> I'm a leader, you know. I don't have time for this. Plus, I improved his stand. So now he won't be able to move. <laughs> this means I won! Oh, he said I hate me! <laughs> Why did you do that, Roger? By the way, what about the wires that connect the sirens to the body? Oh, that's a great idea, Sam. Not just great, it's awesome, Raj. Yes, Sam, you're the best. Just check him out. He can scare anyone. See? Told ya! of the ancient evil. Answer! Ooh. You wanted to scare me, didn't you? Oh no! Now I'm not afraid of anything! Hi guys, I hope you're not scaredy cats like our Sammy. <laughs> Very funny, Susan. Hi everyone! Oh, don't be grumpy, Sammy. Today we're gonna make another Trevor Henderson creature using a 3D pen. It's gonna be rather big, so let's use a piece of foil as a base. Hey Sammy, tell me everything you know about our character so that we can make him as precise as possible. Ahem, that I can do. It's a rather long, worm-like entity with no legs, but with very clingy arms that can reach you at a distance of about three meters. Whoa, that's what I call long arms. <laughs> Und it has 36 human-like scary teeth, which allows the bridge worm to hunt its prey. Wow, now I think I understand why you were so scared, Sammy. Oh, and its speed is about 25 kilometers per hour. Okay, I must admit, that sounds pretty spooky. <laughs> but still, the bridge worm is a fantasy and I'm about to prove it to you. Let's get started. Guys, be very careful with the 3D pen because the plastic inside it is very hot. You're gonna need a lot of plastic for this craft. Replenish your supplies in advance. And the outline of half of the body is done. Now we need to fill in this space between the lines. I still want our craft to be perfect, you know? Oh yeah, Sammy and his perfectionism. Now we're going to carefully take this piece off the base this way. <laughs> this piece kind of looks like a basket, right guys? But how are we going to turn it into a bridge worm? That's pretty simple. We need one more piece like this. Whoosh! I love craft magic. Now we'll attach these two halves to one another, like this. You can either use hot glue 
or more plastic, guys. But be careful in any case. Sam's right, guys. We're going to use more plastic. It's important to make the bridge worm's body solid. That's why, when working with plastic, you should try to leave as few open spaces as possible. Phew, that stage was kind of exhausting. You better be trained for this. <laughs> guys, while Sue's finishing here, take a second to subscribe to our channel. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, here's what we've got. A body for our character. Hmm, Sue, it's not that I'm criticizing, but couldn't we make it look neater? <laughs> Aha, now you're into this craft. The soldering iron will help us smooth the surface of this piece really well. But this tool is not a toy, guys. You'd better ask an adult to help you out at this stage. Like this. Looks like Sue's enjoying the process. <laughs> That's true. Besides, the preparation stage is always very important when crafting. But I think a tiny bit of magic can't hurt. Whoosh! Huh? Why isn't my magic working? Wrong spell, Susie! Oh, right. <clears throat> Bibbity, bobbity, subscribity. That's better. Check this out, guys. Looks awesome, right? Now we need to make other things, like a face and arms for our bridge worm. Would you care to help me, Sammy? Hmm, clingy fingers versus sharp teeth. I'll go with the first option. Okay, <laughs> let's get started. It looks like I'm out of plastic here. Give me a few seconds, guys. Hey, this bridge worm doesn't look scary at all looking like that. Sue? Sue? Hmm? Oh no! Where's Sue? Did you do something to her? You! Ah! <gasps> Sammy, what's going on? Oh! Sue! You're here and you're all right. Uh, I gotta go. Of course I am. And what is that? Some kind of another piece for our craft? It's for the worm's head. You know that uh, hood-like thingy? I thought we might use that as well to make him look uh, more real. That's a great idea. Guys, give a thumbs up to our inspired creator and let's proceed. Since Sammy made that piece, now we need to put one more layer of plastic right here. This will give us the effect as if the part of the bridge worm's skin kind of opened to reveal his scary face. Ew, I wonder how Trevor Henderson came up with this creature at all. Guys, we need to smooth out all these details that we've drawn once again. For your convenience, we'll use the video editing magic this time. Yay, that's better. Huh, it is kinda convenient. Oh, come on, do you wanna finish this craft or not? Oh, right, sorry, I got carried away. Let's see, this goes here, uh-huh. This way. Oh yeah! Well, this bridge worm is not scary at all! Wow, great job, Sammy. But maybe we should give it bright colors? Stay tuned, guys. Hmm, so white, red, yellow, black, brushes, and water. I'm all set, Sammy. Um, where are you? I'm here, Sue. I, I think my fear took over me once again. Then we have to draw its face so that you can laugh at it. Remember? Uh... I don't know. Okay, I'll start to set you an example. Here we go. I'm a bit worried about Sammy. He always loved the decoration part, and now he's hiding. Nobody's hiding, Susan. If you must know, I'm working back there. Oh, really? I wonder what you're busy with. Since we're making the bridge worm that close to the original one, then, we should have a more impressive bridge for it to live under. Hmm, sounds intriguing. Do you agree, guys? Then feel free to subscribe. By the way, Sammy, what about his teeth? I'm on it, Sue. Now Dentist Sam will show a magic trick. Teeth, I command you to grow. Wow, so cool. By the way, we've already made a few crafts involving Trevor Henderson's creatures. 
You defo should check them out on our channel, guys. And don't forget to give a thumbs up! Great! All we've left to do is paint the bridge worm's eyes. Remember how strange and spooky they look? And I heard that they're able to rotate like crazy, so draw the pupils looking in different directions. If you say so, Mr. Bridge Worm Expert. <laughs> Be very careful, guys, to draw everything neat. Or ask an adult to help you. Crafting together is always so much fun. Oh, I could do this all day long. <laughs> Great, just one tiny detail left. Looks awesome. Okay, we're done. Let's take a quick look at this guy once more, and then we'll go and see what Sam was doing all this time. Sammy, where are you? The guys and I have already finished. I'm done too, Susie. Check out this wonderful diorama that I've made single-handedly. I also came up with a cool story. Once upon a time, there was a van. It traveled across one picturesque bridge in Tibidaba and... <laughs> <laughs> 